What's up folks, David from DoD Media. I've been a little bit sick recently, but it doesn't matter. Still gonna give you a tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how you can remix a song using Adobe Audition. So it doesn't matter how long the song is or how short you need it to be, Adobe Audition's gonna to listen to the song and then it's gonna remix it to exactly the length that you need for your edit. Bam. Okay, so say you have an edit which is all done and it's ready and you want to add some music to it or you want to adjust the music that's currently on it so that it fits the exact length of the edit. Now, for example, this edit, which is for the, the Jolly Post Boys promo video that I made, uh, this edit is exactly one minute long. Now, I cut this track here because it was just, it was easy to do on this track. It was probably faster than sending it to audition. But occasionally you're going to deal with a song that it's not that easy to cut it to an exact length of time and you find that you actually wish that you could remix it somehow or let software take over. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to head over to the audio library on, uh, on YouTube and Silent Partner is a fantastic source of music uh, if you're ever looking for good tracks to use in your videos. So use them, they, they allow you to monetize your videos without needing any kind of permission or any kind of uh, accreditation. It's always nice to give them the accreditation anyway uh, because they really they make a solid effort to make some fantastic tracks for you to use. Anyway, so if you download just whatever track, I've got this top one here, Log Cabin, I'm going to drag that, drop it into my project, and then I'm going to drag this down to here, and as you can see that is way too long, it's nearly three times the length. So that's not going to work for me. I'm going to right click on that track, come up to edit clip in Adobe Audition. It's going to say render and replace, just let it do its thing. Then it's going to open it up in Audition. Straight away you can do Control N or Command N, or if you come up to File, New, Multitrack Session. And that's going to create a new multitrack session. Now if you look at the sample rate of the track that you're planning to remix, this one is at a CD sample rate, so 44100. So that's perfect, that's the sample rate that this new multitrack session is going to. So I'm just going to call this um, Jolly Post Boys uh, Remix to Ignition. Name the reference in the comment section. Hit OK, and then grab your clip here and just drag it onto the first track. Come down to uh, Properties remix, drop down this tab and hit enable remix. It's going to analyze the clip and it should do this really quickly. All right, and that is the total duration right now. But we don't want that duration. We want it to be one minute. So one colon zero zero. Bang. And there you go. Now the track is one minute. And at the one minute sign there, it's just finished fading out. So what you can do is listen to it and it'll play along and you can see here these zigzags is where they've actually made the cut, the transition. So actually here what they've done is they've cut out a large body of the music. So if you play it and just have a listen, see if you can even tell. That was invisible, or I should say inaudible. And that's how simple it is. But if you're unhappy with it and you want it to change somewhat, you can see up here these squiggles, if you highlight it, it says Remix, you can actually drag that to make it longer or shorter yet again. So I might want it to be around there so that it fades out at the one minute mark, just along there. And now you can see they've basically added two little cuts, they've got one there and one there. Couldn't hear that. Couldn't hear that. Perfect. Love it. So now hit Control save or Control s or you can go File, Save, and then hit File, Export, Export to Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, mix down the session, open in Adobe, that's perfect, and Export. New audio track, perfect, hit OK, and there you go. There's your remixed file. You can get rid of that one, and that there is your remix to Ignition. It's that simple. All right, that's all there is to it. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Leave a smart comment in the comment section. You might win something free from my store. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button to get more videos from me at DoD Media, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.